Will Ahsoka Tano rejoin the Jedi Order and recant this statement? I am no Jedi. Well, the answer is no, but also yes. Let me explain why. I love democracy. By now, we all know the story of Ahsoka Tano. Taken to the Jedi Temple as a young girl by Master Plo Kloon, Ahsoka was trained in the way of the Jedi. She eventually became Anakin Skywalker's apprentice, learning from him as they valiantly fought their way through the Clone Wars. Many fans found Ahsoka to be annoying when she was first introduced into Star Wars. Even Master Skywalker, yes, I did say Master, found his Padawan to be a bit snippy. However, throughout their time together, they developed a strong bond between each other. They began to see that emotional attachments were not a bad thing, even though they had been trained by the Jedi to forgo all attachments. Anakin definitely rubbed off on his Padawan throughout these years, but he learned a thing or two from Ahsoka. Everything changed when Ahsoka was framed for bombing the Jedi Temple. Although her name was cleared, with the help of Anakin, Ahsoka chose to leave behind the Jedi Order. She realized how far the Jedi had strayed from serving the Living Force and seeking to maintain peace throughout the galaxy, as they once nobly did. Instead, they had become political, and ironically, had become generals for a Grand Republic army governed by a Sith Lord himself. Even after Ahsoka left the Jedi Order, she came across situations that further solidified in her mind that the Jedi had truly lost their way. So, by the time we see her face off with her old master on Malachor, it makes sense why she wholeheartedly rejects the label of Jedi. But I'm here to tell you that I believe Ahsoka is still a Jedi, even if she doesn't want to accept it. It's safe to say many fans don't want Ahsoka to become a Jedi again, like this senator of the channel, who left a comment saying, I hope she doesn't become a Jedi again, and I hope she can alter the sequel timeline so none of the sequels, or at least episode 8 and 9, happen. I'm thinking he meant to say that he doesn't want 8 and 9 to happen, but that's just a guess. Shout out to this senator though, thanks for being a part of the channel. There's something mystical about Ahsoka. She doesn't fit the mold of the Jedi we see in the Clone Wars. Now, I want to give a quick shout out to Dark Side Mike. He has a great breakdown of all this as well, so I'll leave a link to his video in the description. To back up a little bit, let's revisit the Mortis arc of the Clone Wars. As a final act of selflessness, one of the key characteristics of someone who yields the light side of the Force, the daughter's essence is transferred to Ahsoka, ultimately resurrecting her. If you didn't know, the daughter is assumed to be the living personification of the light side of the Force. It's my opinion that Ahsoka becomes the living embodiment of the light side of the Force after she is resurrected. She's then protected by Morai, an owl-like creature called a Comvor who has some sort of association with the daughter herself. I almost feel as if Morai somehow guides Ahsoka and others based on the will of the Force. For example, Morai draws Ezra to the portal in the World Between Worlds to save Ahsoka from Vader. So why do I believe Ahsoka is still a Jedi? The answer is actually pretty simple. She never stopped being a Jedi. In fact, when we see her in The Mandalorian Season 2, I think she's even more of a Jedi than she ever was before. She may not accept the label of Jedi, she may not even want to assist in rebuilding the Jedi Order with Luke, but she can't help who she is. No, I mean she literally can't help who she is. She's the light side of the Force. She is the embodiment of what it means to be selfless, what it means to serve the Force, seeking to establish peace and justice throughout the galaxy. It is her character. She's everything a Jedi should be, and everything the Jedi Order was before being corrupted by the dark side and Darth Sidious. I believe it was her destiny, or the will of the Force put another way, to become the embodiment of the light side. In fact, one could argue that the Mortis arc was more meant for Ahsoka than it was Anakin. We already knew Anakin was the chosen one. He brings balance to the Force by defeating Emperor Palpatine in Episode 6. But he not only defeated Emperor Palpatine, he defeated the Sith, those who abused the Force. But what about the Jedi? One could argue they began to abuse the Force as well, utilizing it for war, not peace. And Luke, as selfless as he is, is a product of the masters from that very Jedi Order. What if it was Anakin's destiny as the Chosen One to defeat the Sith, and Ahsoka's to radically change the Jedi? Anakin brought balance, and Ahsoka's purpose is to keep the balance. So, will Ahsoka willingly accept becoming a Jedi again? She never rejects being called a Jedi in The Mandalorian, and when Din Djarin comes to visit Grogu and is met by Ahsoka in the Book of Boba Fett, she alludes to Luke rebuilding the Jedi Order, although she never refers to the school as the new Jedi Order. I don't think Ahsoka could ever accept becoming a Jedi again. However, I do believe she is a Jedi, or at least everything a Jedi should be. I'm super excited for the upcoming Ahsoka show. I think we could see her wrestle with her identity as a Jedi in the show. But at the heart of it, Ahsoka is a Jedi. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you will be the first to see the continuation of this video, where we speculate on how Ahsoka could change the Jedi leading up to and after the sequels. 
and check out this recent video I made about fans not wanting Ahsoka to make too many appearances in future Star Wars projects.